What is up fellow coders out there and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make an advanced platforming script here on Scratch similar to my futuristic Neon project and some other platforming projects I have made. This script is all one custom block but this tutorial is going to include way more um, cool new features like friction, momentum, wall jumping, slope detection in a much more uh, elegant manner. So um, you can see why I want you to learn this really crucial platforming script. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have two sprites right over here. One is called the player, which is just a square that's 24 by 24 wide. Now the size doesn't really matter, but you gotta make sure that it's small enough that you can like fully see in your level. And the second one is the platforms. Make it go to zero, zero, it's very important. And Make it just a little rectangle that's at the bottom of the screen. Okay, cool. Now let's get started with the actual platforming script. But before we do that, we need to make a new custom block called restart. And we're going to make it run screen without refresh. We're going to make two variables after that. Um, actually, three variables. XVEL, YVEL, and old Y. Old Y we're going to hide, and so with the, all the other variables. We're going to here set XVEL to 0 and set YVEL to 0. Set size to 100 and go to negative 200, negative 50. You can make it go to a different position if you want to, but uh, I tested this and it works for my game. And then we're going to say when go clicked, go to my blocks, go to restart. Then make a new custom block. This is going to be our actual platform physics. Physics. So we're going to say platform physics and we're going to make a new input called um, called movement speed. Make a new input called friction. Uh, wall jump X. Wall jump Y. Jump force and gravity. Make this run screen that refresh as well. Okay, cool. Then what we're going to do is get an if else statement. In the else, we're going to do the gravity code. So we're going to say change y val by gravity. But to make it easier, we're going to do gravity. We're going to do gravity times negative one, so that we only have to input positive numbers, and it's going to automatically know that it's going to fall. Here we're in the uh, condition block. Here we're going to put touching platforms. Repeat. The absolute value of y val, and we're going to say another if then statement. If touching platforms, change y by now. Watch this carefully because this is an algorithm that's going to. Um, this is an algorithm that's going to make the um, player not touch the ground. Change y by absolute value of y val divided by y val times negative one. Um, times negative one. Okay, and just put this in the change y by. Okay, now let's see if this works. But before we do that, we need to say forever. Um, platform physics, and we just need to fill in the last value. Let's set to one point five. And uh, at the very beginning of the game, I always forget this. Change y by y val. As you can see, it works. We have a uh, collision detection on the y axis. But we can't jump right now, which is probably going to be pretty important. So after this if, uh, uh, sorry, after this repeat, we're going to get another if else. That's right, it's an if else. And we're going to get an and. Here we're going to say if the up arrow key is pressed and not yvel is greater than zero. So only if it's on the ground will we be able to jump. Otherwise, we'll be able to triple jump and it will break our game. Double jump, triple jump, and it will break our game. If the upper key is pressed and the y val is not greater than zero, then we're going to set the y val to jump force. Else, we're going to set the y val to zero because we don't want it to jump when it's not up air pressed. For the jump force, I'll set it to 14. Okay. Now, as you can see, it works. We can jump. Okay. We have the y physics now, now let's get the x physics. We're going to get an if then statement. We're going to say if the right arrow key is pressed, then we're going to change the x val by movement speed. And we're going to duplicate this. We're going to say 
if the left arrow key is pressed, then I'm going to change X fell by movement speed times negative 1. So let's see if this works. Oh, it won't work right now because we have to add some friction. Set X fell to X fell times friction, the friction input that we added. And here we're going to change X by X fell. Now let's add to the very first two inputs, 2 and 0 0.85. As you can see, now it works. But we have no collision on the x-axis at the moment because um, right now we can pass right through walls, right? Yeah, we, we really don't want that. We, we, and slope detection also doesn't work because uh, we, our parent, yeah, we can pass right through walls. Yeah, and that's not really that good. So let's add the, that uh, feature next. We're going to add the slope detection. So we're going to say if touching platforms, then uh, we could just duplicate this uh, Y collision script, but that's not really uh, um, efficient because we need slope detection and would, and if we just clear and if we just clean duplicate this, we're not going to get slope detection. Um, if touching platforms, set old Y to Y position, then we're going to repeat the absolute value of XVEL plus 1 and we're going to say another if touching platforms, then we're going to change y by 1. Now let's see if it works. As you can see, the slope detection works perfectly. But there, there's no wall detection because apparent, because the um, pr the code is uh, treating any incline, even if it's a 90 degree incline, as a slope. And we don't want that. So we're going to make a wall detection code now. In uh, After these two conditions, after this repeat, we're going to put another if, and here we're going to say if touching platforms, set y to old y. And here we're going to repeat, um, we're going to take this absolute value of x fill, but we're going to make it ceiling of absolute value of x fill. It just makes it work better, trust me on this. Then we're going to change x by, we're going to duplicate this script, and we're going to change all the y fills to x fills. And we're going to put that in right there. Now see this works. As you can see, we have collision. Now let's add the wall jumping mechanism because as you can see, we don't really have any wall jumping. So let's get started on that next. We're going to say, um, when, let's first um, uh, break down what wall jumping actually is. We want, if we touch the up arrow, and the right arrow or left arrow at the same time, we want it to wall jump in that direction. But we don't, like, what does wall jumping actually mean? It means when we touch a wall, we want it to, like, bounce off in the opposite direction, get stuck to the wall again, bounce up in the opposite direction, and get stuck to the wall again. That's basically what wall jumping is, right? Okay, so, so let's implement this. We're going to say if, we're going to get an if else after these two conditions. And we're going to say if the up arrow key is pressed, um, we're going to get a less than. Oh, sorry, this needs to be an if. And we need to put an if else inside of here. If the x vel is less than zero, if the left arrow key is pressed, um, if, uh, whoops, if the left arrow key is pressed, then we're going to get a set x vel and a set y vel to, we're going to go all the way back up here, get this wall jump, hor sorry, get this wall jump x and put it in here and get this wall jump y and put it in here. And here we're going to, in the else, we're going to say set x vel to zero. I'm going to duplicate this if. We're going to say if key right arrow is pressed, then we're going to set x vel to wall jump x times negative 1, and we're just going to leave set y vel to wall jump y. Now we're going to, we actually have to set these values, so we're going to set the wall jump x and y to 8. Let's see this works. As you can see, we have wall jumping. Now, this is a very simple platforming script. We may expand on this in future episodes, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, then smash like and smash subscribe. And tell me what you want in this platform script next. Because in future episodes, I may do something um, a bit uh, different. Like maybe cloned players or moving enemies. Basically anything you want that would make this platform script even better. But really, I really hope you enjoyed. 
and I'll see you guys next time everybody. This is Astro News Code, signing off.